In this video, we're going to be talking about having a spiritual perspective and how you can bring it into the marketplace and really how you can bring it into your life. This one's going to be a little bit heavier, a little bit wordier. So bear with me. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I like to break these things down word for word. Now, this is coming from 1 Peter's uh, chapter, I believe this is chapter 3, verse 13, and it reads, Who's going to harm you if you're eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. And now I want to talk about this for a second because what's so interesting is when I look at this and it says, who is going to harm you if you're eager to do good? I personally live my life with this perspective and some people think I'm a little crazy. You know, people call me a little odd and strange, but the truth is I don't expect to get screwed over because I don't think about screwing other people over. I'm one of those people that I leave my car door unlocked. I typically walk out of the house and leave the house door unlocked. I'm probably not going to share my address because I don't want to be creating opportunity for people. But the truth is I just don't walk around with this energy that I expect to be taken advantage of. And what I found is 99% of my life, I've been treated well. I don't get taken advantage of. In fact, I gain benefits. I believe that the world is put here for my growth and benefit and everything is always in my favor. And so I like that in scripture, it talks about this, like who's going to harm you if you're eager to do good. But right. So he says, even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Right. So even if something does happen to you as a result of you doing good, right, your good deed, your good behavior, maybe you decided to help a friend out and that somehow caused you to be late. And when you were late, you were driving home and maybe you got pulled over and you got a ticket. Right. And you're like, man, I shouldn't have helped my friend, but your friend really needed you to be there. He says, don't worry, you're blessed. Right. He says, do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your heart, revere Christ as Lord, right? So he's like, just always remember who your, who your God is, who your Lord is, who your Savior is, right? Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope. So what he's saying, listen, stay blessed, stay good. Because if you're staying in Christ, like if you're staying in your faith, if you're understanding that everything is happening for your favor, that you already have received the greatest blessing on earth, then in comparison, nothing is actually all that bad. So you maintain hope. You maintain this goodness about you. And isn't that what we aim to do? Isn't it that we aim to walk around in life filled with joy no matter what the circumstance? See, I want you to think about this for a second. Is your perspective allowing you to let the external circumstance dictate your internal mood? Or are you internally in alignment regardless of what's happening externally to you? I would say that you have a choice and I would say the proper choice or the more intelligent choice would be to let your internal, your internal thermostat, right? To be more like a thermostat and not a thermometer to let your internal thermostat set the temperature of your life. See, some people act like a thermostat and they're just simply reading like, Ooh, the room in here is cold or the room in here is hot. Instead, I prefer my life to be that of a thermostat. That's the power that my God has given me. That's the power that I have as a human, as a, a, a sentient being with free will is I get the opportunity to set the temperature of the room. And so do you. This is why we're talking about this. This is probably why you tuned into this video. You might have needed to be reminded that you're the person in control of setting the temperature. So I like that they said, in your heart, revere Christ as Lord and always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, which is, dude, do you know who my God is? Do you know who my savior is? Do you know what I have the capacity? I am a human being alive right now with free will. I can think the thoughts I want to think. I can do, you cannot ever control my mind. You can't ever control my perspective. I mean, come on, bro. Come on now. This is insanely amazing when you think about this. Everyone's all hyped up about AI and computers and the technology, but that stuff cannot think for itself yet. It cannot create its own inputs. You can. That's a gift. That's a blessing. You can make your own choices. It can't make its own choices yet. It still needs somebody else to trigger it. You have the capacity to make your own choices. 
which is a beautiful thing. So that's a reason to celebrate. And it says, do this with gentleness and respect. So when you respond and you let people know why you're so happy, just it's a calm, gentle, it's a knowing. It's like knowing that there's enough oxygen in the world for me to breathe. That I can just take in that next breath. So I want you to think about this perspective and think about the perspective that you walk through life with. Do you have the perspective of your life that you're in charge of the thermostat and you're the person in charge of setting the temperature of your life? Or do you right now or have you in the past responded to life more as a thermometer, simply reading the room, but not truly creating the life that you desire? Guys, if you had value from this video, do me a favor, leave a comment. Let me know what your perspective is on these verse. Let me know what you think about what I shared. Uh, I look forward to talking with you guys again tomorrow. These videos are going to be dropping live every single day. So I say enjoy the rest of the day. Stay blessed by the best, and I'll see you guys for the next video.